Hey crazy truckers, people who know me well enough know that I have a Killip 4 heart failure, the most severe there is, with a really low life expectancy. This condition is caused by an uh, acute myocardial infarction that I suffered almost four years ago, which had me on the verge of death, in which, as my father would say, <laughs> has left my heart a little wonky. The Chamber of Understanding. I was 54 years old at the time. My plan back then was to celebrate my, my 55th birthday as the uh, half of my life birthday. According to my calculations, between scientific advances and health at the time, I never had any serious problems and always had led a pre-orderly life. The possibility of reaching 110 years was not unreasonable. In fact, I believe most of you should be able to reach those ages, assuming, you know, an orderly lifestyle and a medical history without too many misfortunes. The half of my life birthday did not happen. My first year after the heart attack was really hard. It took me <laughs> quite a while to take care of myself. As a matter of fact, I have a 70% uh, disability and there are many things that I cannot do. The side effects of heart failure have meant that um, for one reason or another, I've been admitted to the hospital pretty much every year since my heart attack. Although at the beginning I try not to read too much about my illness and simply do everything the doctors told me, in the end I just can't avoid it. And not only did I start reading content like crazy about my condition, I created some Google alerts that uh, tell me about every single new article publish about my illness. Needless to say, I keep doing what the doctors tell me practically to the T. In the end, I owe them my life. And uh, this does deserve another video of this series, my periplus through the infarction. Based on reading about my illness, I've become more aware, not so much about the severity, which after three weeks in, the, in intensive care, I already had an idea, but about the future prospects. So every year at this time, I get contradictory feelings, a mixture of concern and fear, remembering how terrible that time was and uh, how serious my illness is, and gratitude and happiness, because in spite of all the ups and downs, I'm still here. I'm a pathological optimist can't avoid it. And although I'm aware that any day can be my last day or any video can be my last video, I try not to think about it too much. My chances of reaching 110 years of age have been seriously reduced. Not that before I lived as if, it was ne as if I was never going to die, although I secretly hoped to. But uh, now, obviously, much, much less. What is very clear to me now is that I'm not going to live as if I were going to die tomorrow. When death arrives, might catch me by a surprise with lots of things in the pipeline, videos to do, things to say, especially to the people I love. But if I get all stressed out about it, I think it's gonna be even worse. So I take care of myself the best I can and I try to take it easy. I cross my fingers so I don't get another heart attack. It hurts a lot. Before saying goodbye, I wanna thank my family and friends for all their support and patience putting up with the spammy WhatsApps I put them through. Also, my subscribers, who apparently are not my family and direct friends anymore. Mostly, I want to dedicate this video to my friend and patron, Ivan, 
who got me this really cool um, LED light for my birthday and uh, with which I hope to get a little more quality in my videos and much more freedom when recording. One of these days I'll try to make a video about why I think light is probably the most important factor even more so than a camera or or lenses when it comes to producing a good quality image smell you later smell you later